I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you test questions of Advanced Functions MHF4U Grade 12. Now here is an application question, Ferris wheel. You need to write a trigonometric function to represent the situation and find when the height of this wheel will be above 70 meters. I've slightly changed this question and now we are going to discuss it in details. So the question before us is about modeling with trigonometric functions. The question is, a ferris wheel has a radius of 30 meter and rotates at the rate of one revolution every 200 seconds. At the bottom of the ride, the passenger is five meters above the ground. You start your ride from the bottom of the wheel. Determine the equation of the function that represents your height h above the ground at any time t. During what time in the first three cycles is your height 17 meters above the ground? So I've changed above 17 meters above the ground. Okay, so basically the situation is that we have a ferris wheel here which is kind of 5 meters above the ground and the radius is 300, 30 meters, right? So the radius is 30 meters, so 30 meters, 30 meters, so that is from here. And then we have 5 meters here, right? So that is kind of the condition. And now the question is that the right starts from the bottom of the V. And let us assume that's moving counterclockwise. Now as the V wheel moves counterclockwise, we can actually graph the height with respect to time. Now in this particular case, let us assume starts from here, which is 5 meters above the ground, so the ride will be kind of like this. I'm drawing three cycles here. like this. Now it is given to us that the radius is 30 meters. That is to say that from the axis from this axis will be 30 meter above and 30 meter below. It's also given to us that the minimum is 5 meters, right? So this place is 5 meters plus 30 will give us 35 and then if you add 30 to this you get 65 as your maximum. This is one way of finding, right? Now time period is given to us as one every revolution takes 200 seconds. So that is 200 seconds. Is that okay? So the center will be at around 100 seconds, right? So that is how it is going to be. We need to write a function, a trigonometric function representing this situation. Since it starts from the bottom, we can always write this function f of x as equals to minus, minus cosine function, right? Cosine function normally starts from the top. Now its amplitude is 30, so minus 30 cos of, now what is the k value? Now k value is 2 pi by time period, right? So let us calculate this from here t is equals to 200 therefore k equals to 2 pi by 200 right or we can say pi by 100 so that is the value of the k so we can write here pi by 100 t phase shift has already been taken into account since we have written minus here the axis will be at 35 so we have plus 35 now some of you can also do this from the given data. You can say maximum is at 65, minimum is at 5, correct? And then you can find the axis by adding and dividing them by 2, right? So axis will be equals to 65 plus 5 divided by 2, right? So 70 divided by 2 is 35. So that's another way of finding it, either way. So I find this very simple like minimum then add the radius and then again the radius sometimes diameter is given to you just add the diameter so we get this so here is the equation so that is part a 
Part B is during what time in the first three cycles is your height 70 meter above the ground? So seven, 17 meters. 17 meters kind of here, right? So, so we need to find the time in first three cycles. So basically we are looking forward for these times, right? Now the idea is that if we find in the first cycle, we can add 200 seconds and find the other two cycles also, right? So let's find in the first cycle, rather the first point itself. So that means we are looking for height of 17. So let me write 17 for f of x equals to minus 30 cos of pi over 100 t plus 35. So we'll take 35 on this side. So 17 minus 35 equals to and let's divide by minus 30 also. Let's divide by minus 30 equals to cos of pi over 100 t. Correct. So the calculator should be in radians when you do this calculation. That is very important. So we have 17 minus 35 divided. So this will be a negative quantity. This is also negative. So let me do 35 minus 17 divided by 30. Okay. So 35 minus 17 divided by 30 gives us 3 over 5. This is positive 3 over 5. Now to find what angle should be, we could do cos inverse of 3 over 5. So we let's do cos inverse of 3 over 5. How much do we get? Second function, cos inverse. And let's put the answer in. So we get equals to 0 0.9. 92729 let's say 30 okay so that is the cos inverse and this should be equals to pi over 100 t is it okay pi over 100 t from here we can find t so we can say t is equals to what so we say t equals to 100 times this number so 0 0.9273 times 100 divided by pi right that is the time so we'll multiply this by 100 and then divide this by pi. We get 29.5. So 29.5, let us say 29.5 seconds. So we get this point which is 29.5 seconds. Now can you tell me what is this point? If that is 29.5, well from the symmetry you can say if you are 29.5 away from 0, you should be 29.5 away from 200 also, right? So if I do 200 minus 29.5, I will get that point. So I'll do that. So now we have 200 minus 29.5 gives me the point in decimals as 170.5. This is 170.5. So now from here, I can write down that in the first cycle we are at the height of 17 meters above the ground when time is 29.5 and 170.5 right and during this duration we are above 17 meters right so we get our solution which is let me write down here part b right so we found that the time is between 29.5 seconds, right? Let me say t is, I mean, greater than or equal to, uh, and 170.5, correct? Now we can add 200. Every cycle is 200, right? So if you add 200, you get 229.5. Is it okay? 370.5, correct? again add 200 so we get 429.5 well sometimes you may be required to round it to whole numbers or seconds you can do that drop I mean you can round it right so 70.5 in that case becomes 430 to 571 but I hope you understand and appreciate how we can get and these times are in seconds right so so during that is how you can solve this kind of a question, right? It's kind of important to understand how to get the second point and thereafter. 
I hope it helps. Thank you and all the best.